just when you were starting to wrap your head around 4K TV, 8K TV is here. Samsung is one of the first in Canada to release a consumer TV with 8K resolution. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog and TechGadgetsCanada.com, and in this video we'll take a look at what 8K TV technology is, how it compares to 4K or your old HD TV, plus what this particular model, the 75-inch 2019 Samsung 8K QLED model Q900R is like in person, since I've had a chance to have it here in my home for about two months. This TV also has some really cool additional features that make it an interesting upgrade too. An early heads up that if you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing, since it helps us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Also, don't forget to follow my Facebook page at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada. The design of the 75-inch 2019 Samsung 8K QLED Q900R is pretty standard as far as new TVs go. It's got an ultra-thin bezel or frame, and while it's thin, it's not impossibly thin as some of the other TVs you may see out there. That's because it uses Samsung's Quantum Dot and 8K Direct Full Array technology, which lights up your picture in a very precise way. More on that in a couple of minutes. Getting this TV set up is straightforward. You should first connect Samsung's One Connect box. This box is basically the brains of the TV and it's big and heavy. Fortunately, it uses a nearly invisible cable and you can set the box far away from the TV if you want, in a cabinet or even another room thanks to infrared technology. The One cable, and I've pulled it out from the back of the TV here just so you can get an idea if you can even see how thick it is. This is what connects the TV to the box and the box is where you're going to connect all of your peripherals. This is great for wall mounting because it means you don't have to have your streamers, your consoles and your peripherals or all the associated cables dangling right under the TV. You'll power things up and the Samsung 8K QLED Q900R will walk you through the setup. You'll sign into your home's Wi-Fi account so you can access the streaming features and then you'll sign into your Samsung account if you have one. You can then connect any streaming devices or those peripherals that you'd like, although it is worth pointing out that this TV has Roku and Apple TV built in, plus things like Netflix, YouTube, and a lot more. One other note, I connected the Samsung 8K Q900R to a Samsung soundbar and subwoofer for maximum audio quality. This is the HWQ70R, and there'll be a separate review on this rig on the blog and the channel if you want to check it out. The key feature of this TV is its 8K resolution. Wondering exactly what 8K resolution means and what you'll see? Resolution is the sharpness of the video picture and it's made up of pixels. There are millions of pixels in an 8K TV. 8K has four times more pixels than a 4K or Ultra HD TV and 16 times more than a full HD TV. On the screen on your 8K TV are more than 33 million pixels and they're now so small that you'll never see them no matter how close you sit or how close you put the camera. It almost feels like you can reach out and touch what's on screen. So where does the name 8K come from? 8K, or 8000, is the number of horizontal pixels across the screen. It's industry shorthand that's evolved into an actual name for the technology. 8K means the resolution to be much finer, clearer, and realistic because there are so many more tiny pieces making up the overall picture. It's the difference between, say, making a mosaic using one foot square bathroom tiles versus making them with, say, fingernail sized tiles. You can create much finer detail with those smaller pieces and fit more of them in your space. Samsung also adds its QLED technology to 8K. So what does that mean? The LED part of QLED, as you might know, stands for light emitting diode. That's the lighting system used in most LED or LCD TVs for several years now. The Q stands for quantum dot. Quantum dots are how the screens create color. Instead of using white LEDs and color filters, quantum dots produce different colors depending on their size. Direct full array technology controls each individual light, meaning there's more control over color at the tiniest levels. So it's able to create deeper colors, better gradients, and more realistic lighting right across the screen. The TV also has HDR or high dynamic range technology too, which also improves color and light replication. What about 8K content? This is the big question that many manufacturers are having to answer right now because while these screens look amazing, there's not much content being made in 8K. Most production houses, including Netflix or film producers, are barely making new stuff in 4K, so having to start over and buy new 8K cameras isn't super appealing, as you can imagine. 
That is where upscaling comes in. The chief ain't true at all that. You still got no ass there. Because there's that lack of 8K content, Samsung has decided to help you bridge this gap with the upscaling technology. This basically means the TV will convert or enhance lower quality programs into near 8K resolution automatically. Samsung's technology, which they call artificial intelligence or AI upscaling, turns the content you're already watching into stunning near 8K picture quality. If you want to learn more about the upscaling and see it in action, there is a separate blog and video that tackles this topic. The Samsung 8K QLED TV has another feature called Intelligent Mode, which adjusts the brightness depending on the room environment. Now here in my basement media room, the light wasn't such a big issue, so I didn't get to experience too much time using this feature. Let's talk about the overall video quality of the Samsung 8K Q900R. I watched a lot of content on this TV, things like The Handmaid's Tale, Money Heist, Mind Hunter, Bad Blood, even Beverly Hills Cop as you saw earlier. There's definitely no way to find fault with the picture. It's razor sharp, clear and realistic and you can see a ton of detail from grains of sand to dust to individual hairs and blemishes and more. The color and contrast is outstanding and there's so much color it's almost overwhelming. It's also easy to see details even in dark scenes. Another major feature of the Samsung 8K QLED Q900R is something called ambient mode. This is designed to eliminate the black hole effect in a room when the TV is turned off. In short, when you're not watching TV, ambient mode transforms your black screen into something more meaningful and more beautiful. With ambient mode, the TV can mimic the wall pattern behind it to help it blend in. It can show you moving 8K videos or artwork, personal photos, or soothing patterns. It can also show you helpful information like weather. I played around extensively with the various different features and settings of ambient mode, and there is a lot to choose from. I've created a whole other video that you'll find here on the channel about how it works and the many things it can do. If you're wondering how ambient mode affects the TV's overall life, it uses about 30% of the energy of using the TV on full or on regular, and Samsung's given this TV a no burn-in guarantee, so you shouldn't have any problems with it down the road. By the way, if you're wondering if this TV is any good for gamers, the answer is a definite yes. The TV can actually upscale your video game content too. Plus, it's got two other features built in with gamers in mind. There's FreeSync 2.0, which eliminates screen tearing. The TV will automatically match the frame rate of your game console to eliminate tears. Dynamic Black Equalizer also handles another pet peeve of gamers, the need to manually adjust the TV's brightness whenever you head into a very dark area. Dynamic Black Equalizer automatically adjusts and improves the brightness of extremely dark areas for better viewing of those dark like scenes. Back Overall, I can't say enough good things about this TV. It's obviously got the best quality video picture on the market. I love ambient mode and the One Connect box is super handy when you're trying to set up a stylish and streamlined media room. Any downsides? Well, when it comes to the overall video and quality, no. We can talk about the price though, since this TV right now is extraordinarily expensive and some might see that as a definite downside. The lack of content is also going to be off-putting for some, but on the pro side, that upscaling works amazingly well and does help justify the fact that this TV is pretty far ahead of the curve. If you've got the funds for this TV, you are definitely not going to be disappointed in it, and I can assure you of that. If you want to read more about it, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've got a full write-up posted, and you can ask us any questions you have either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. I'm Erin. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram until the next time at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.